Hello, I'm Dr. Anil Gode, and today I'm going to talk to you about the impact of COVID immunity in the form of vaccination or infection and its impact on frozen embryo transfers. Now, we know this for a very long time that COVID has an impact on menstruation, and there are anecdotal evidence that COVID may have an impact on a short term ovarian performance and also on sperm. So that data is very much incoming and I think it will take time. But also we're getting reasonably good evidence from what COVID infection and vaccination do in terms of IVF outcomes. And remember, a large part of the world is now vaccinated. So the question being asked is, is it, does vaccination have any impact on performance in terms of IVF? and especially in a frozen embryo transfer. So this was a paper that looked at frozen embryo transfers, and it also looked at the success rate in vaccinated and non-vaccinated people. So when you have a look at this paper, uh, you see that this was a study of in 428 patients. The immune group was 144. This could be post-vaccination, or it could be post-infection. Now, there were a non-immune group of the 2021 in which there were 93 patients and a non-immune group of 2019, which were there were 283 cases. Now, if you look at the success rate, whether you'd be vaccinated or whether you would not be vaccinated and not have any post-infection, the success rates are very much the same, ranging from 23% to 27%. And that does not seem any difference statistically on ongoing pregnancy rates. So what does this paper tell us? And it tells us that the impact of COVID vaccination or post-COVID infection that does not seem to have an, a negative impact on implantation rates. And as we fight against COVID infection in the form of immunization, I think at present the data that is coming out for this from the study is that in frozen cycles it does not seem to make an impact. Thank you very much.